Alright, so I recently passed NSC4 certification exam and a lot of people were asking me about how did I prepare for the exam and what sort of resources did I use. So I thought I'd just make a video talking about it. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Amit, your host for this episode. And if you're new to this channel, I'd like to say welcome. In this channel, we normally talk about things related to tech, IT world and IT certification program. And if that is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to this channel. So let's get into it. Alright, so before jumping into the preparation section of this video, let's talk a little bit about the exam itself. So NEC4 certification exam is Network Security Professional Exam from Fortinet and it is an intermediate level certification exam that generally covers stuff related to the administrative part of the Fortinet devices such as like installing it, managing it and monitoring the day-to-day -day activity of the Fortinet devices. And it is a vendor specific exam so it is mainly suited for those who want to build their career in network security domain. Okay, so the duration of the exam is 405 minutes and you will be presented with 60 multiple choice questions during your exam and you have to get 70% or higher in order to pass the exam. And there are multiple previous versions of this exam but the latest one is NEC 4 7.2 that covers the stuff from 4 US 7.2. So make sure that you prepare for the latest version of this exam. And you have two options to give your exam. So you, either you can go to test center and sit for your exam there or if you prefer online then you can simply book your exam on Pearson View online and you can give your exam that way as well. And there is a full exam guide on Fortinet website but I will also leave the link down below in the description section so you can check out from there. Uh, that will provide you the full information about the exam and what sort of a topic will be covered during your exam. Alright, now let's talk about how did I prepare for the exam and how long it took for me to get certified. Before even starting my preparation for the exam, first thing that I did was booked my exam, you know. Having that fixed date for my exam really helped me to organize my study plan. So I would also highly recommend for you to do the same as well because if you are going for the exam just have the exam date ready so that you can plan and structure your study plan and you can simply allocate some time during your days for your preparation. Alright so now let's talk about the resources that I use to prepare for this exam. So to prepare for the exam I mainly use the Fortinet training portal. So what you can do is you can simply head down to training.fortinet.com and in the library section you can see NEC4 okay so if you click there and you can see it is um, divided into two sections one is Fortinet security and second is uh, for you get infrastructure so your exam question will be coming uh, from these two uh, modules so what I did was I took some time to finish all the modules from these two sections and I allocated like about an hour a day uh, to finish each module sometimes two modules a day and it took me around one and a half month to finish all the modules and one week to do the revision you know it may take a little bit longer or maybe less time for you depending on your experience because I already have previous experience working with different types of firewall technology so the concept were similar you know it was not very hard only that I needed to know what sort of a new security concepts uh, are in the Fortinet um, ecosystem but the main thing that I would like to say is do not rush but take your time you know uh, sometimes it is always better to take extra time to prepare and be 100% uh, confident about it rather than just rushing into it and failing the exams. Alright so now let's talk about the practical bits of the exam. Okay so this exam is not only theory based so you'd also need to have a hands-on experience with the device itself. To do that you have two options either you can purchase the paid version of the labs from the Fortinet portal itself or you can use YouTube and that's what I did as well you know because um, I didn't want to pay for those uh, paid labs from the Fortinet portal because it's kind of pricey so I went onto YouTube and look for Fortinet um, practical trainings uh, videos and um, there are multiple uh, YouTube channels that talk about Fortinet um, lab sessions but the one that I found very useful is from Infosec for Humans. So if you go to the YouTube and look for Infosec for Humans uh, YouTube channel, uh, there's a full playlist dedicated to Fortinet NEC4 uh, DIY training. So I'll leave the full link for the playlist itself so you can just check out from the description section. Basically, it will help you get started with the practical bits of the uh, Fortinet devices, okay? So I would highly recommend for you to check out those videos if you are preparing for your NEC4 exam. All right, so last but not the least is doing the practice test question. So I spent my last week before the exam just doing the practice questions. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to do the practice test before the exam. 
because the practice test helps you to understand the actual question pattern that you're going to face during your exam and it will also help you to understand your exam readiness you know if you are not fully prepared and you are consistently failing your practice test then you may consider rescheduling your exam for further dates as well so for the practice test i used two tools uh, one is the sample question itself from the fortinet portal so once you have completed all the training modules uh, from uh, fortinet portal for your nec4 you can then have access to this NEC4 FortiGate Security and FortiGate Infrastructure 7.2 Sample Question. Uh, so that's what I did. It has around 34 questions. Uh, it will give you an idea about what sort of question to expect during your exam, you know. And the second tool uh, is very good. It is for free and it is uh, from examtopics.com. So basically what you can do is you can go to examtopics.com and uh, type in the exam code. But as I said earlier, there are previous version of the exam, so we would need to choose the latest one. Okay, well, this is the 7.2. So you just go to 7.2 and it will uh, take you to the uh, sample questions. So you simply go to NC4 exams, okay? And you can simply prepare for the practice test from there, okay? All right, so these were the resources that I used to prepare for the exam. So it took me around two months since I started the learning module from the Fortinet portal uh, till I went to the exam and got certified. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video till very end. I really appreciate your time. And if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You know, it really motivates me to create more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.